hidden food. The state has found itself at the center of a strange debate, one that could have regulators changing the rules that prohibit certain species of live crawfish from being transported and sold in Colorado. It's a looming issue impacting seafood sellers who come here to Colorado Springs. Caradio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live from the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Office. That agency testified before the Fish Health Board this morning. Scott. Yeah, sure did, Bart. And in fact, officials at Parks and Wildlife today said that they received a tip about all of this from Louisiana that two prohibited species of crawfish were being sold here and found that it's happening more often than they expected. The regulations are in place to protect native species from disease or from being outcompeted for food. Y'all get y'all some of this crawfish next week. Whether you call them crawfish, crawdads, crayfish, or mud bugs. They're in season from March to June when buckets and sacks of them from the Gulf Coast are sold live across the country for traditional crayfish boils. But they're not all the same. Two species in particular are illegal in Colorado. And members of the Fish Health Board heard Monday that tightening enforcement will affect the people who buy crawfish. My wife and I, were, we both grew up next to the ocean, so we love uh, fresh seafood. So anytime we would, you know, go, we'd have to drive all the way to Denver to get, like, fresh seafood, if it is fresh. The owner of this Colorado Springs restaurant also voiced his concern to the board. But it accounts for roughly 30% of our annual revenue. This is truly our bread and butter. Uh, and restricting their import would be detrimental to the ongoing success of Mama Pearl's Cajun Kitchen. But he also learned at the meeting that the regulations apply to restaurants as well. So Parks and Wildlife has to figure out the enforcement strategy there too. Trying to find a way to make things work long term. I think that's our intent. Uh, we don't know what that looks like yet. And so I don't want to make any promises or guarantees about what that looks like. Now, a decision on whether to change the current regulations isn't, expect, isn't expected, we're told, until this fall at the earliest. And that doesn't help the people who sell those tasty crustaceans at the time when they're at the highest demand. We are live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO, News Channel 13.